Okay, everybody, it's time for your final installment of uh, how to use the Craftware software. Uh, we're going to go over supports and the actual slicing process, which is where you generate the G code uh, that will you'll, you'll put into the 3D printer, which will tell it what to do. Uh, so from here, you see off to the right here, we've got this button called support, and we've got a slice option. Now, uh, the support option is gives us the chance to go in, and uh, you notice that the bed changes to a purple color, and we can rotate around, and you have the option, very neat option, of adding manually adding supports wherever you feel that they're necessary. Now, as a beginning 3D printer, what you're probably going to want to do is click this auto-generate support button and let it take care of it for you. Um, you can also auto-generate supports and then hold down the control key and delete any ones that uh, you feel are extra. Um, for the time being, while you're to beginning 3D printer, just let it auto-generate the support for you. Now, you can also have the option, when you go to slice it, it can auto-generate supports for you that way also, and I'll show you that just here in a second. So, I'm gonna remove all my supports, and I'm going to I, you go back to my objects pane. Now, you don't necessarily have to do that. You can go straight from support to slicing. Um, and just click on the slice option. Now, all it does is pop up this little screen where it asks, do you want to, what is your print quality? What do you want your print quality to be? What material are you using? Do you want to automatically generate support? We're going to click yes. And do you want to add a raft, which we're also going to click yes for. Now, when you get more expert at this, you can go under the hood. Whoa, look at all these settings you have to choose from. But the cool thing about Craftware is when you click on one of these boxes, it gives you a hint off to the side along with an illustration of what it's actually doing. So down here, you you know, shell. So that's where we're talking about the, the thickness of the exterior. And then it shows you an illustration of what that looks like. And if you go up to three, it shows you what three would look like over here. So the under the hood option, even though it seems intimidating, actually has a lot of helpful features built in. So you can kind of go in there and play with it and see what it's all about. Um, but then, uh, you know, if you get intimidated uh, and you want the, the, the easy menu, there you go. And you don't need to worry about it. Uh, so then you click on the slice option. We're going to go with medium because we don't need anything better than that. We're using PLA. We're automatically generating supports and we're adding a raft. We click slice. Whoa. And it takes us to this other screen. Now, what this is doing is it's actually color coding a lot of the different options for us, which is really cool. Um, and what it's doing is it's color coding by things like uh, extrusion. And if you hover over, the same thing is true. See how uh, uh, things are popping up next to our little options wheel there? It says coloring by extrusion amount. It can color by feed rate. It can color by travel. Um, it can color by a tool head. So if you've got multiple um, extruders, you would color by which tool head is doing what. Um, so you've got a lot of options here also. Uh, and that you can even play around with here. It, you can you can play around with the heat at which different things get extruded and so forth. But you don't need to do anything right now. Again, the neat thing about Craftware is it gives you a whole bunch of under the hood options that you can use once you get better and more familiar with 3D printing. But initially, all you're gonna do is save the G code. You're not gonna make any changes to it. You're just gonna click save. And then it's gonna ask you where you wanna save it. Now, in most cases, you're gonna to wanna to save to a USB drive because, well, you're gonna put a USB drive into the uh, 3D printer in order to transfer the G code. So you'll want to make sure, here we go, we've got a removable disk installed now. Uh, you'll click on it. And we've got, and what it'll do is it'll save it as whatever name the file already had. In this case, it was body no support because this one was uh, a no unsupported version. So I could show you guys how to add support. Uh, I'm going to change the name of it just to mini truck. So I've got a better idea of what it is. And then I'm going to save. And that's it. Our G code has been saved to the USB drive um, and it's ready to put in the printer and print.
and you will have absolutely no problems um, getting your 3D printer to understand this G-code and print if you follow these simple steps. So again, it looks like a lot of stuff, but really all you need to do, let's just review. If we go back, let's go back here. Let's go back to the objects pane, okay? This is where we started, right? Now you can see how there are now supports in place. They automatically generated supports. And the neat thing about letting them automatically generate supports in the slicing option is they put in a few less supports than uh, would have been generated otherwise. Uh, so it's going to come out. Uh, you, we all have less stuff to remove after you print it. So literally all we did was go from here to slice. We clicked these two buttons, automatically generate support and add raft. We didn't touch anything else and we hit slice. It gave us a bunch more options we could play with, but all we did then was click save. And it's as simple as that. So guys, I hope you guys uh, feel more comfortable about using slicing software. I hope you guys uh, play around with Craftware. It's a great program. Uh, it's color coded. It's very user friendly. Uh, and you can't break it. The worst thing that happens is you screw the uh, the the uh, STL file all up and you just don't save and you reload it again. So um, the, really there's nothing that you can hurt when you're when you're dealing with these virtual uh, files. So feel free to do whatever you want in the slicing software, play around with it um, and really get comfortable with the with the program. All right, guys. Uh, again, thanks for listening and uh, we'll talk again soon.